Hi and welcome back to the Time Then channel. In this photo collection, we'll be showing you these tragic images from 1911 depicting the young employees of Maine Sardine Canneries. The American Child Protection Council recruited photographer Lewis Hine in 1908 to report on and chronicle the working conditions and exploitation of children or as they were known, underage laborers around the United States. In addition to photographing the harsh realities of people like the bike messengers, newswise, miners, etc. while traveling the nation, he conducted tens of thousands of interviews with young people in working environments. Hine visited Eastport, where the American sardine industry was founded and where many young people were still employed there. The outcome is a disturbing collection of images. Please kindly subscribe, like, and comment. Now, on with the video. Factory number 4 of Seacoast Canning employs three young cutters, 10 to 12 years old. They work consistently. Minnie Thomas, a nine-year-old girl, usually works at Seacoast Canning, factory number seven, mostly in the packing area, and she occasionally works nights when business is particularly brisk. Her father and grandfather work in the plant, according to her mother who also stated that some of the kids cut their fingers in half. She spends the winter months living in Grand Monon with her aunt, father, and mother. She claims that some days she makes $2 packing, but not so much when she cartons. Made only $1.70 last week. Not the youngest, but a group of youthful cartoners at Seacoast Canneries. demonstrates how fish is sliced in sardine canneries. The use of large, sharp knives with a cutting and occasionally a chopping motion is common. The risk of an accident is increased by the slick flooring and benches and reckless bumping into one another. The salt gets into the cuts and makes them hurt. A group of young cutters is waiting for more fish at Seacoast Canning Company's factory number two. While doing their jobs, they all squander a lot of time waiting for fish, much like people do. The housing situation at Seacoast Cannery No. 7 is not favorable. The Goodall family resides here. These are their temporary quarters, where they spend the entire year. The father is employed by the local mill. In the canneries are four or five of the kids. A cutting shed's interior in Maine. Young cutters Clarence, 8, and Minnie, 9, at work. The seawater they frequently stand in and the trash they manage are not depicted in the photo. Two of the boxes used as measurements, for which they receive five cents per box, are on the low shelf. Nanda Gallant, a nine-year-old cartoner at factory number two of Seacoast Canning, some with her mum in the back. Mother and her two sisters are manufacturing workers. In a single day, one sister earns seven dollars. The women start working at seven in the morning during rush hour and may stay until midnight. Brother is a boat mechanic. Work is quite erratic. Already a pampered child, Nan. Elsie Shaw, a six-year-old summer cartoner at factory number two of Seacoast Canning. In factory number one, her father is in charge of the cutting room. She performs a singing performance in vaudeville during the winter. Some of the cartoners in factory number two of Seacoast Canning, not the youngest. Folsom McCutcheon, 11, has been operating the covering and cutting machines at the Eastport canning business. A typical sardine factory may be seen in the backdrop. Sardine canneries on the waterfront in Eastport, Maine. Minnie Thomas, age 9, demonstrates the typical size of the sardine knife used to cut. Some of the kids were using knives this big. Minnie frequently works in the packing room at Seacoast Canning Company, factory number 7, and on particularly busy nights. She also works during the day. 
She claims that some days, packing, bring in $2. Thank you for watching. If you liked the video, please kindly subscribe and see you on the next one.